Hey, what's up everyone? Rick here, and I'm going to do something new today, and you guys are going to follow along with me on my journey as I go and paint this Moxley head in this full gear look with drenching blood all over his face, do something new and fresh. So, this is the sculpt that I've already done beforehand out of green stuff. Maybe later on I'll actually, you know, bring you guys along with how I sculpt stuff, but for now, this is just painting. So, let's go to the materials. So what we're going to need, of course, is paints. Here I have Citadel paint, I have Kislev Flesh, the OG, and I have um, Mephiston Red, which is a good shade of red. That's exactly what I need. And I also have this brown paint that I mixed together. It's a skin tone, but it's brown. It mixed together from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some flesh tone paint and a tiny bit of red. Not too much. I don't want it to overpower the flesh tone. And that's going to work as a dark pink hue that will be good for the base of the head. So I'm just going to be brushing that onto there. Not too much. I don't want the paint to be too thick when it dries. And this is just really good for having a nice primer. You don't have to spray anything down. You just have it on the head. And there you go. It might take a few layers, but this is what it looks like when it's done. And next up, we're going to kind of dry brush just the flesh tone paint over the over the pinkish color. And what I like to do is I like to not put too much on it. Also, sometimes I'll dab the paint, excess paint off of the the brush by wiping on a paper towel and basically the whole thing is you just want to make sure that you get the entire head maybe leave a little bit of pink in the crevices of the sculpt so it kind of enunciates the sculpt a little better the whole point is, is just covering it in the flesh tone paint and this is what it should be looking like and now I'm going to take a bit of the Mephiston Red, and I'm actually going to use that to detail the red areas of the face. Of course, um, when light passes through our skin, there's a lot of red areas. Our nose, um, the cheeks, and especially like the temple area. So those are areas I'm trying to get, especially for uh, Moxley over here. And I'm trying to kind of shade it in. I'm not trying to... Uh, Make it too sharp, I'm trying to blend it in with the skin tone. This takes a little bit of uh, time and you might have to look at reference pictures to see who kind of, because everyone has different redness in different areas of their face. And I'm going to use that same color to kind of go over the crevices of the sculpt. And usually what I do after is I'll go over the whole thing with a really, really, really light layer of uh, flesh tone. I'm kind of just doing that to better fade in the redness. Now I'm going to go with the white, mix a little bit of red to do the eyeballs. And you can see there, got the eyes all colored down and it's not too bright. And with the black, we're going to paint on the base of the pupils. So it goes black first. So black is the outer layer of the eye, obviously. And this one, you just, I just dab, I just dab a bit of paint on there. And now I'm going to go hit it with the blue uh, and gray mixture of the eye, of the pupil, sorry. And then what I do is get the black in the middle. So black, blue, and then black. That's how it should be. And then for the eyelids, or the uh, upper edges of the eye, I'll take a little bit of brown and I kind of lightly paint the eyelids on and occasionally if they have double eyelids that are well pronounced I also paint those as well but in this case Moxley doesn't and now 
get out the brown the skin tone paint and the red paint and I'm gonna mix it together to paint the lips and Amoxley has really thin lips so I'm not gonna paint it too thick and I'm also gonna use that same color for the tongue and the good thing about Mephiston Red is that it's kind of, it's a darker color so you don't need too much brown and now I'm take some white mixed it with some brown and I am going to paint each tooth so I kind of mix in more brown as the base of the teeth before I actually hit it each tooth with the lighter shade of white and now is the eyebrows I have heavy brown over here which essentially is a dirty blonde and Moxley doesn't really have uh, really dark eyebrows so in this case I'm going to try to lightly draw on the eyebrows quick short strokes on the brush and again I don't want too much paint on the brush but just enough that I can get that detail over there And I'm painting each little hairs on the eyebrows. And then if anything happens, you can just go back and fix it with the Kizla flesh tone. And there you go, there's the eyebrows all painted. And there you can see I kind of just finished up the facial features of John Moxley and next up we'll be moving on to the hair and John Moxley kind of has a fade going on so what I'm gonna do is mix together some brown some gray and some Kislev flesh tone and that'll give us a good top color for the fade and just like any barber you start with the top and then you do it lighter on the bottom and you kind of shade it in. So I got the darker color on there. And then for the second color, I mix in a little bit more flesh tone and I kind of get the bottom and try to fade it into the top. Next time I'll try to remember to shoot from my left side because I'm right-handed. Because <laughs> uh, it might be hard to see what's going on. But whole point of this is just to try to get it faded and try to get that faded look. There you go. And now we move up to the top. So I got some chestnut brown color. So this is kind of a lighter brown, which will work as a good base for the hair. So I'm taking a, a, a tinier brush to kind of get the edges of the strands of hair and then I'm trying really carefully not to get any brown on the skin tone And then next up is the beard. What I try to do is kind of fade it up to the top of the beard. I try to make it darker on the bottom and I kind of fade it out um, lightly when it reaches the cheeks. So it's darker on the bottom. And now to help accentuate that sort of fade, I'm gonna take the darker brown color that I mixed and I'm gonna kind of hit, it, hit the bottoms of the beard. Kind of makes it look a little bit more bushier, a little more, a little bit more full. And with that same brown, what I did was I 
kind of mixed it with water, kind of made a wash, and I'm going to get that on top of the hair. Kind of, I'm kind of dabbing it slightly, especially near the little thin strands of hair on his forehead. And usually I let this dry for about five minutes before I go and hit it with uh, a dry brush, a lighter dry brush, and this is the blonde color that I painted with the eyebrows earlier. And with the wash and the dry brush, that kind of that kind of makes the sculpt more pronounced, and you can see each little strand that I sculpted. And now moving on to the main event, the blood. So I kind of looked up on Google, kind of studied the color of blood. You kind of learn it's more of an orangish red color. So I do have my Mephiston, which is perfect enough for this. And just gonna dab it on. I'm, I Sometimes I'll take my finger and kind of blend it into the surface. And I'm going just really messy. It's, there's, you don't have to go neat on this. And the thing I like about this look, it's, it's a really sadistic, really hardcore look for John Moxley which is perfect and it just works well with the head scan because this head scan is usually really goofy looking but I think with the smile and the blood combined together it makes it really twisted and sick which is a great combination Trying to stay to the to, to my reference photos, but again, trying to you know add my own style to it. And here you go, here's the comparison. And I'm gonna hit it down with Mod Podge, which I watered down and put on multiple layers to kind of give it that sweaty, shiny look to him. And this part I didn't record, but it's pretty simple. You just kind of water it down and brush it all over the head. And now we're gonna hit it with the gloss seal. And I like to gloss the eyes. The lips. And in this case, because the mouth is open, we also have to hit the tongue and the teeth. Those are all kind of parts that require a shine. And last but not least, we gotta shine the blood to make it look fresh. Some fresh blood going down the face of John Moxley. I hit the top parts. And I also kind of put blood into the beard, into the hair that are soaked in blood. And just like that, the John Moxley bloody head is done. And all that's left is to just put it on a body. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't care. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.